the Royal Navy is turning back the clock while charging into the future. With growing underwater threats, especially from advanced Russian submarines, the Royal Navy is launching a bold plan to boost its anti-submarine warfare mass. Drawing inspiration from the flower-class corvettes of the Second World War, small, simply built escort vessels designed for quantity and persistence, the Royal Navy is now embracing a modern equivalent. In the coming years, under the banner of Project Cabot Phase 2, Bastion Atlantic, the Navy plans to field swarms of uncrewed surface and underwater systems. Large uncrewed surface vessels towing towed array sonar, extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles probing silent depths, and a network of seabed sensors and satellites providing virtually continuous coverage of the Greenland-Iceland-UK gap. Why this shift now? The vastness of the Atlantic and the undersea menace pose a challenge traditional warships cannot meet alone. High-end frigates and submarines are powerful but too few to patrol every corridor. The answer? Numbers, affordability, and endurance, the same pillars that once made the Corvette fleet so effective. The analogy is clear, just as the original flower-class Corvette sacrificed speed and luxury to escort convoys, today's fleet will sacrifice crude complexity for unmanned ubiquity. For the Royal Navy, this means less reliance on single expensive surface combatants and more on attritable, persistent systems capable of deterring or detecting hostile submarines before they strike. The first of these uncrewed escort platforms are expected to sail alongside Royal Navy warships within the next two years, with full deployment of the system by the end of the decade. In short, the Royal Navy isn't building more big warships, it's multiplying the number of eyes, ears, and hunters beneath the waves. The legacy of the flower class lives on, reimagined for the undersea battlefield of the 21st century.